What is up guys, David here. Welcome back to episode number two of my setting up a life skill empire. So the plan for today is I'm going to be setting up the actual worker empire. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, so I think I'm going to start off in... Okay, so I did a little bit of playing around, and like I mentioned, I wasn't going to be recording everything, but I did organize the Velia storage a little bit, and then I changed on the lodging and storages there, and then I played around with the Olvia, emptied all of that. So uh, I did a little bit of extra stuff overnight yesterday, or, well, after I recorded the first episode. I want to quickly plug in a few things, though, just before I get into the actual Worker Empire thing. Uh, if you have enjoyed the content so far, subscribe to the channel and also leave a like. And let me know down below if you are enjoying this content so far. And uh, and then also, I, um, I do stream on Twitch. And that's something that apparently people don't really know. But yeah, I stream on Twitch. And I'll have it linked in the description down below. And then one last thing is that I did mention that I wasn't going to be recording after absolutely everything that I was doing and setting up. So what I did last night was I emptied the Velia warehouse and I moved the lodging and storages around and then I also emptied the Olvia uh, storage and I also removed all the CP storage that was in here that was just randomly invested into. So I saved a little bit of CP there. Okay so let's actually get into the node setup part. So I want to grab cast a farm. This is grapes and I need this so that I can get into cooking the essence of liquor. So I'm going to invest a contribution there and then I will invest into the grape node and then uh, I will go out and I'm gonna again like I said I'm gonna have an entirely separate video dedicated on getting workers for now I'm just gonna be setting up the actual nodes here so what I do want to grab is Bartali farm and then I'm also gonna need the chicken meat and the eggs and then same thing for this node here the Logia node I'm gonna grab that for the potato farms and then I'm gonna grab Finto farm really quick and that's going to contribute and give myself more potatoes and more chicken meat and eggs. And then for now, I'm going to leave Velia as it is because I don't want to invest in anything else currently because I'm going to focus on cooking first and then I'm going to move on to maybe doing a little bit of alchemy. So then I'll invest in the sunrise herbs, the arrow mushroom, so forth, so on. So let's move on down to High Dill. Uh, in the previous episode, I invested in Alejandro Farm, as you remember, and then I also uh, invested in Costa Farm. And I'm not going to invest in Moretti Plantation, even though it does give wheat, I'm not really uh, going going to go for wheat as my main uh, beer material. I think I'm going to be using potatoes mainly because Shuri Farm gives a lot of potatoes and it also gives the special quality and the high quality so it's not like I need a ton of wheat. But uh, I'm going to move down to Glish here and what I want with Glish is I do want the Glish runes for the trays. So I'm going to connect Southern Sanaga, the Southern Guard Camp and then I'm going to invest into Glish runes. And then because I don't have the excavation node unlocked, behind the scenes later on tonight, I will go ahead and grab the uh, Glish node rune and I'm going to invest some energy in here. And then this way I will have it set up for later on. So moving on to the Medea region, uh, like I said, I want Shuri farm. So Shuri farm is the potato node. So I'm going to have to invest into Eastern border here and then invest into Camasil temple. And then from here, ancient runes, excavation, and then I will go to Canyon of Corruption and then going down I could connect to Shuri Farm. So I'm going to grab Shuri Farm, oops, grab Shuri Farm and the Sweet Potato Nodes and then again I will grab a worker for that. Okay, so I got most of those nodes here. I will not be investing in anything in Altanova right now. I will be grabbing the Kaposha node though because I do want the copper and the rough opals and the powder flame. And I don't need the Tef, but this is what I'm mainly going for right now. So, uh, and there is a free lodging here, so I don't really have to waste any uh, pearls on the lodging because I get free lodging. And then I'm not going to really worry about any of the nodes outside of Valencia. And so from here, my main focus is going to be the Calfion region because that's where a lot of the uh, passive income comes from. So right off the bat, I'm going to invest in Kaplan Query. If you've been on the channel for a little while, you know that Kaplan Query is my main go-to. This gives coal and it gives a lot of return for the CP invested. And because I don't have over 300 CP, I'm not going to be investing in the other Kaplan nodes as of this moment. But what I will invest in are the Calfion nodes. So right away, I want to grab Dandelion, I want to grab Kuroda's Cave, I want to grab Bree Tree. So what we're going to do is I'm going to invest in the Dias Farm and then invest in Northern Wheat. 
and then from there I can expand to old dandelion and then grab the birch timber now I am unfortunately out of energy so I'm going to have to swap characters and uh, I'll see you all on the flip side alright so I'm on my sork right now let me pull up the map again and let's head on over to old dandelion and invest in this node and then get the timber node here and this is because it gives birch timber and the red tree lump and the red tree lump is what I'm gonna be using for alchemy later on down the line and then of course I want to grab tin ore and the rough red crystals although I'm not really caring about the rough red crystals right now that's just like a side thing and then I'm going to invest in Berniantle farm now this is a excavation node so again I'm gonna have to go and invest into the excavation node but what I really want is the Bree tree ruins here so I'm gonna grab the birch timber and the birch sap really quick and then of course because I will be doing alchemy later down the line I will grab this but not yet because I want to see how much CP I have left over once I'm completely done the Empire because I don't want to invest and then not have enough right so I want to make sure that I get the most important nodes that I want right now and then move on from there and then if I ever have CP left over then I can just invest in the extra alchemy nodes uh, like I mentioned so moving down here I need Gambino farm or Gabino farm my bad and then I need the northern Kaya pier the south Kaya pier and then I'm gonna invest in the Rudum sentry post and these are really expensive I'd say that if you can connect to Trent without actually having to connect to Calpheon and use Trent workers for these then I'd say that's probably your best bet but uh, anyways I got the tin ore and the rough green crystals from Rudum outstation that's the node that I really wanted and then moving down here I'm gonna connect Tobari's cabin and then also I'm gonna grab the match of forest and I want to grab the fur timber here and the fur sap so this is something I'm going to use down the line for processing so let's grab abandoned monastery and lumberjacks resting area and then of course invest in cedar timber so phonial's cabin is also another good one and then I'm going to grab the fur timber here and then I'm going to invest in bear riverhead because it gives tin ore and the powder earth which can be used down the line for alchemy and then I'm not going to invest in Rua Tree Stub even though it does give an excavation node here just because it's a little slow and it's definitely not worth the CP. So on my main account I have Shady Tree Forest and I invested in this because it currently gives the Moss Tree Timber, Moss Tree Sap and Moss Tree Plank and that is used in the Helix Elixirs. And then I also have the Knock Ore here which apparently is not discovered yet so I'll have to go out and discover that myself. But so far, our worker empire is looking sturdy and set up. So because I have 52 CP left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest in Iwa's Hill here. I'm going to grab the Ash Timber. And then I'm also going to grab the Fortune Teller Mushrooms. And of course, I don't have any more energy. So uh, I'm going to switch characters and then I'm going to see you all back when I have more energy. As you can tell investing in nodes costs a lot of energy, it costs 10 energy every single time you invest into one of them. So uh, if you are setting up this empire and you don't have that much energy then you may have to buy energy potions off the market or refill your energy from the innkeeper just to keep up because again it does cost quite a bit of energy but no worries I have quite a few alts here with a lot of energy stored. Okay so as I was saying I'm investing into Iwa's hill and I want to grab the fortune teller mushroom. So I invested in fortune teller mushroom node because this is a good CP node and it also um, you know it's used for alchemy so if you don't want to buy fortune teller mushrooms or whatnot then you can just invest in this. So if you're gonna get into alchemy and you want to like think ahead and save for down the line then there's no problem getting this and that's the reason that I'm currently investing in that on this setup. So next up I want to get forest to plunder again because I have 49 CP well 48 CP left I'm gonna grab arrow mushrooms that's a must because I'm going to need that for alchemy and then I also want to grab coastal cave because this is a really good node because I can invest some goblin workers on here and get some iron ore and some copper ore. Okay, so I've actually forgot to grab Castle Ruins here. I do want to grab this for the Maple Timber. And you actually don't need to connect the Eastern Gateway because I connected from Camasil Temple. I could just connect to Castle Ruins from there. And then I do have some extra stuff. So I'm going to invest into the Zinc Node here. Now this is a little expensive because it does cost 3 CP. You do not need the Silk Honey Grass. That's uh, not really a necessary node. And I will grab the Elric Shrine though because I do want the White Cedar Timber. And then I will be grabbing Stone Tail Wasteland because I also want the Acacia Timber. And this way I can start making some crates down the line. And I have 29 CP left. So I will most likely invest in Medea Northern Highlands. Grab that. Grab the Maple Timber. 
and then I think I will have enough CP left to grab the uh, abandoned iron nodes here. So I'm going to grab, the only reason I'm going to grab this one here is because I want to grab the iron horde down here. So this iron ore gives powder of darkness and I can use that for alchemy. So I'm going to invest in that. And then I can also invest in the zinc ore here too. So I still have 12 contribution left. So that's actually pretty good. My worker empire is looking solid right now. As you can see here, we got most of the majority of the solid nodes that we want. I think I'm going to grab silver azalea though, because I will need that for alchemy. And I'd rather have a bunch of that stored up so that I could start spamming the pure powder. And then I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to invest in Northern Plain of Serendia, invest in the Maple Timber, and then also grab the Silver Azalea here. Or I have no energy. Okay, that's fine. Um, you know what? I, I don't really need the second Silver Azalea node there. I think this one is 12 minutes long for a single cycle, so I think I should be okay. And I think that's pretty much our setup, to be honest. Uh, I can probably just uh, cook and then invest the rest of my CP into a farm. So I'm going to end off the episode on a high note here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start transporting all this timber to my Hydeal storage. And this way I can start, uh, you know, processing that timber down overnight. And then I can start sending that timber all the way over to Calfion and start crating or maybe to Grana. We'll see. So I want to see where... I don't know where I sent my, um, my wagon, where, I don't know where my wagons are listed. Um, okay, but that's fine. Okay, so I will just collect all this stuff here and I may have to invest a little bit more CP into the uh, storages because apparently I don't have enough storage and I, I mean, I have a lot of trash here because I was kind of, uh, because I didn't want to move all my care, well, because I didn't want to go to every city, I was trying to move the majority of the trash uh, that was being hoarded in the cities and move them all the way to Hido, but I completely forgot that I would need more storage. But it's not a big issue. Again, I have 6 CP left. I can invest in a little bit more Hido storage. And then uh, again, Velia is pretty much organized. This thing was like full of, of junk, but I pretty much took everything out. And honestly, the only thing left is Sunrise Herb. And I think I'm going to leave Sunrise Herb here. And then I'm going to move the Ash Planks. But I think I'm going to leave the Ash Timber here because I have the Ash Timber node. Uh, it's not a big deal if I leave it there. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little short, but again, I'm trying to keep these not too long. I'm trying to keep them nice and simple. It's content. What do you expect from me? <laughs> but again, with that being said, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one.